Okay, we're now going to look at the small signal model for the MOS transistor. And we'll start with the triode region. In the triode region, the MOS transistor acts as a voltage dependent resistance. We look at our current equation and we can define the conductance that's dependent upon the voltage by taking the derivative of the current with respect to the drain to source voltage. If we do this, we get the following derivative. Now normally in the triode region we consider that the voltage across the transistor be drained to source is very small. And so our model looks like a resistance, RDS, that's equal to the inverse of the conductance. And of course we can vary the value of this resistance by varying the voltage. In the saturation region, the transistor acts as a voltage-dependent current source, much like the bipolar transistor did in the forward active region. We have our current equation, and we can define a term, Gm, which is our transconductance that's equal to Did by D Vgs. And this is equal to mu W over L times V O V. Remember that we can substitute VGS minus VT is equal to VOV. Okay. Now we can do some algebraic manipulation to this expression to derive three different forms of GM. So we can also, uh, just with some simple manipulation and substitution, determine that GM is equal to Q times IB divided by VOB. It's also equal to the square root of IB divided by mu times C ox times W over L. Now, if we add our voltage dependence term uh, on VDS to this expression, we can also define an output resistance, which we're going to call GDS in the saturation region. And this is defined as DID by DVDS. And this is equal to lambda times ID. The output resistance, RDS, then, would just be equal to 1 over one over GDS which is equal to 1 divided by lambda times ID.